Hey guys, in this video we are going to discuss the solution of question number 7 of set D mathematics. The question which is given to us is 20 meters of wire is available for fencing off a flower bed in the form of a circular sector. Then we have to find the maximum area in square meters of the flower bed. Now you can see that right here I have formed a circle and from this circle I have taken a sector. Now, since we are to fence off the 20 meters wire of this particular sector, so basically we have to, well, find the maximum area of this sector as well. And now, the given length of wire is equal to 20 meters. And since it is the given length or the total length which we have to strip off this sector, so I can say that if this sector is taken separately, it will look like this will have a radius component here, a radius component here and the length of the arc here with theta angle here. We know that the L that is length of the arc is represented as R theta. So this means that R plus R plus R theta is equal to or is given to us as 20 meters. That is the length of this radius, this radius and the length of the arc is covering or is covered by this 20 meters wire. Now if we simplify it, it will become 2R plus R theta is equal to 20. If we take R common, it will give us R into theta plus 2 is equal to 20 or we can say R is equal to 20 upon theta plus 2 meters. So this is the value of R. Now we know that if we find, if we have to maximize the area, we'll first have to write the formula of the area of sector and we know that it is given as area is equal to theta upon 2 pi into pi r square. Now we can cut this pi with this pi and we can also write the value of this r in terms of theta. So that way we'll have theta into 20 upon theta plus 2 whole square whole square and upon 2. This will be simplified to 400 theta upon 2 into theta plus 2 whole square. This upon simplification will give us 200 theta upon theta plus 2 whole square. Now you can see that we have found out the value of area in terms of theta and to maximize this, now let's maximize it, we will now have to differentiate it with respect to theta. So this value is here and let's now find out the value of dA by d theta. Now for dA by d theta, we will have to do the d by d theta of 200 theta upon theta plus 2 whole square and we know that this can be done by uh, d by dx of u by v formula. So this will give us well u dash v that is we can say 200 into because 200 theta upon differential differentiation will become 200 into theta plus 2 whole square minus well 200 theta as it is and then v dash which will give us 2 into theta plus 2 and in the denominator we will have theta plus 2 whole raised to the power 4. Now let's find out this value. We'll see that this value is now become 200 into theta plus 2 whole square minus 400 theta into theta plus 2 and in the denominator we have theta plus 2 whole raised to the power 4. Now what we can do, we can take 1 theta plus 2 common from both these terms and upon doing that it will cancel out this 1 power of theta plus 2 and finally we will have dA by d theta as 200 into theta plus 2 minus 400 theta upon theta plus 2 whole cube. Now we have to, now to maximize this area, we'll have to put this dA by d theta is equal to 0 and upon doing so, well, this theta plus 2 whole cube will be multiplied on the right hand side and will be reduced to 0 and then we will have 200 theta plus 400 minus 400 theta is equal to 0 and that way I can say that we will finally have or we can solve this as 200 theta is equal to 400 giving us theta is equal to 2. So we found out the value of theta. Now let's find d2a by d theta to just d theta square just to confirm that whether this is maximizing this area or not. Now d2a by d theta whole square 
well if we simply take the numerator as the part because well denominator it will just be just be removed this particular value and this will give us well 200 theta plus 400 or we can say 200 theta will give us 200 and 400 theta will give us minus 400 so final value will be minus 200 which is less than 0 and this implies that theta is equal to 2 gives maximum area and thus the required area which we need or which is the maximum area is equal to 200 into theta now in place of theta we'll substitute 2 so it will become 200 into 2 upon theta plus 2 that is 2 plus 2 whole square this will then be simplified to 400 upon 2 plus 2 that is 4 and 4 square gives us 16 so 400 upon 16 that is 25 meters square so the final answer or the maximum area of this circular sector of flower bed is 25 meters square